Corn growers have finished planting their 2010 crop, but cool, damp weather earlier this month had farmers worried they were not going to get a crop in the ground during the most optimal planting time. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Toby Blanchard reports, ideal weather conditions recently have given corn farmers an opportunity to catch up. The weather gave corn farmers a break in mid-March. The month started off cold and damp, and it appeared farmers would have a tough time getting their corn in the ground. As the weather warmed and dried, farmers were able to plant. But not all farmers were able to prepare their fields properly before planting. With some of the fields not getting a timely burn down, that is going to be uh, some of an issue, something that we're going to have to watch. When farmers don't treat their fields for weeds, called a burn down, weeds can become prevalent in the field and they could rob the corn plants of nutrients, moisture, and sunlight. Weeds also could harbor insects that could become a problem for the crop. Crew says acreage is likely around 600,000, similar to last year. Prices have come down in recent years, which are keeping acres from increasing. The prices um, seems to be stabling around 350 to 360 a bushel. Um, that's a far cry from the highs of a few years ago up in the, when it was above $5 a bushel. Fertilizer prices are up slightly, which will increase farmers' production cost. As growers finish planting their corn, some are preparing to plant soybeans. Sentinel plots have been planted around the state to guard against Asian soybean rust. They're going in throughout the state uh, looking for Asian soybean rust as a, trying to detect it prior to it showing up in uh, commercial fields throughout the state. Uh, give farmers a heads up when they find it in the area. Louisiana's cold winter may have helped in the fight against rust. Levy also says farmers looking to plant soybeans should get their seeds booked because seeds of some popular varieties may be in short supply. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, this is Toby Blanchard with the LSU Ag Center. Louisiana could see an additional 100,000 acres of soybeans this year. Last year, growers planted around a million acres.